Hello and welcome. This is Japan and we are going into this spooky season. So I've been trying to think about what type of tier list I want to do. And I want to just do a bunch of like spookier tier list and, and stuff for the next as much as I can for the rest of this this month because this whole season is just always my favorite time of the year. I play spooky games on Twitch. So if you check me out, uh, we normally are playing something spooky. I mean, a little bit of Overwatch and a little bit of Fortnite probably will pop in there because they're both having like Halloween-esque events. So they might get a little bit of playtime too, but a lot of Dead by Daylight, a lot of, you know, everything else that I'm going to be trying to play. So I figured let's just go. Who is the spookiest killer? I guess just by look and maybe like weapon. I don't really know. This is probably had probably put more thought into this before i started this video up but we're just gonna go on pure spookiness and our scariness i mean there's so much that we could judge each person for so i have a feeling this is going to be completely subjective and probably be one of those tier lists that most people disagree with but hey that's what happens with these tier lists so let's just jump right into it so trapper honestly doesn't feel like super scary to me i mean he's like really big and like the bear traps would be pretty gnarly to try to go against but like i don't it doesn't scream spooky compared to some of these other persons so i want to put him in the middle normally what i do with these tier lists i try to put them uh have as many even so we have like five categories we try to get it as even as possible so we get some hard choices there so we don't have a top heavy or bottom heavy tier list depending on whatever it is so um yeah so uh bing bong i, I don't know like with bing bong been able to do to to be invisible i think immediately puts him so much higher to be spooky and scary uh, his design particularly doesn't really spook me like i don't if i see him i'm not like that's scary but the invisibility and stuff and weapon and stuff i think is pretty high up there so i'm gonna put a i feel like it could go higher i just feel like it's one of those things like there's so many killers that just like the sight of them is spooky seeing him after he un uh you know goes uninvisible isn't really the spookiest uh, Hillbilly, the chainsaw. I'm not a big fan of chainsaws. Like, I've always, like, been a little weary of them. Like, I don't, like, the, I would never want to use one. Like, I have to use sometimes a, like, a saw at work. Like, so, like, I hate doing that because it's just, like, I have this just un issue like just some issue that i feel like i'm gonna miss the safety and i'm gonna chop into my hand i don't i don't know if that's too much information, but chainsaws also feel that same way. Like, I'm gonna miss and, like, yeah, and I just don't like that. So, I... I think he's a little bit spookier than what normally would be i think in gen, like just looking at him he's not spooky to me the speed with the chainsaw does seem worse i'm gonna put him in c i feel like the chainsaw makes it not be a d i feel like it's just hard because like there's a lot of spooky guys and and girls and and what and creatures on this list and i don't feel like he's necessarily one of them uh the nurse is a weird one because like her look doesn't really scream spooky. Like, it's definitely, like, jarring and... But, like, it doesn't really, like, instill fear into me. Uh, the blinking all over the place would be definitely bad. I think for this type of tier list, I'm going to put her in D. Obviously, I can change some of these when they come around because it's hard to, like, think when I'm just kind of going at it, you know? So, I don't know. Uh, Michael Myers, again, like, the stalking part is... It was the scariest part, but, like, his aesthetic doesn't really scare me. So I'll put him in C. I mean, be honest, any of these killers here, if I was getting like one-on-one -on -one outside in the real world and they were following me, I would be completely scared at anybody on this list. But I'm trying to rank them based off of what I see them here. And yeah, Michael Myers is definitely spooky, but I think there's some worse ones. Uh, the hag is a weird one because like she's kind of small and frail that I wouldn't feel maybe as scared with her, but her like popping up and... And doing that jump scare thing gets me all the time in the game. So I'm going to put her in B because I feel like she's a lot higher up. Uh, the doctor is just jarring the C. And with the electricity and the, the laughing and stuff, I think I'd be pretty spooked. I'll put him in A. I feel like there's a lot of other people here that would be higher up there to be S tier. But I, I feel like he's pretty close to it. Uh, Huntress is a weird one because it's like... If I saw her just out in the open, I would be very, like, like weary because of the mask. But I don't know if I would be necessarily scared right off the bat. But when she pulled out those hatchets, I definitely would be more scared. I'll put her in C. I think it's a solid spot. Uh, Bubba, same thing with the chainsaw with the hillbilly. But I feel like Bubba's stature of, like, kind of being big and wearing somebody's face definitely puts him into the more spooky category. I'll put him in B for the time being. 
Um, I think I'm being kind of like cautious to keep my Tom spaces open, but uh, yeah, I feel like that would be one of those crazy ones. Uh, Freddy Krueger's weird because like Freddy in general, like his hand and his like look is kind of spooky, but like his whole power of like attacking you in your sleep, that's way worse because your sleep, you're just so vulnerable and stuff. I think that definitely puts him up higher than some of these other killers. I'm going to put him at B. I feel like, I don't know. He, like he just himself is just kind of there and, and scary looking, but some of these other ones I'd be more scared of, but the sleep thing definitely puts him up higher. Uh, the pig, honestly, it's like weird, but like, it's not as scary. Um, like the pig in dead by daylight feels scarier than the pig in saw. Because, like, she only wears it kind of when she abducts people. And I don't think, like, there's, like, like you're just kind of taken. But her, like, stalking you and, like, putting the bear traps on you, that's a lot spookier. So maybe you'll be moved from the bottom. I don't know. It's 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 difficult with what's coming up. So I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to be cautious. Uh, the clown. I'm not, like, afraid of clowns. But this one's definitely one of the worst ones. <laughs> I mean, I'll put him in C. His look alone just is... It's weird to see a clown when you're not at a fair or somewhere a clown should be. They automatically look creepier when they're in a place. But I don't think I'm necessarily scared of him. Uh, the spirit... I, I just feel like the size of the spirit and stuff... I think at first I probably wouldn't be as scared of her. Um, the darting all over the place would definitely be spookier, but out of some of the killers here, I think I'd be less scared. So I'm going to put her in D. Uh, Legion's another one that just feels like a guy in a mask, and I feel like a lot of these people are a lot worse just looking at, so I'm going to have to put the Legion also in D. Now, honestly, like, when I go face them in Dead by Daylight, a lot of these are scarier than they are in real life, I guess. Um, Plague... I think I'd just be kind of spooked. I don't feel like she's, like, super scary. Like, she's definitely, like, I don't want to get near her, but I wouldn't really, like, if I saw her out in the open looking like that, I don't think my alarm bells would be like, oh, she's going to kill me. I would be like, oh, her, her face is a little messed up. Let me not look at her face type of thing. Uh, ghost face with his, like, stalking abilities and stuff like that, I'd put him a little bit higher. Put him in C. It just still feels like a guy in a mask, so I'm not as concerned compared to some of the other ones. Uh, Demogorgon? I mean, that is just a jarring creature. Um, I feel like creatures automatically are scarier than, like, human beings because, like, your brain can't comprehend that those things are real, so you'd be a lot sc more scared. So i definitely put S tier. Uh, next up is Oni. I mean, just, like, him making the noise he makes and the speed and all that, I would be absolutely terrified. I'll put him in A because I feel like there's still going to be a couple more guys that are a little higher, but, man, that would be spooky. Um, next up is Deathslinger. Honestly, like, don't fear him super crazy. He just looks like an old man with a gun. So that's most of the South that I've dealt with. And I haven't really been scared here uh, with that. So I guess I'll do that. I mean, again, like I said, anybody, even any of these D killers are still scarier than just whatever type, you know, people. Um, Pyramid Head, I feel like he's kind of middle of the road. It's like his slow moving thing is scary, but like I wouldn't feel super scared of him right away. I'd just be like, what? I wouldn't like, I don't know. I just, I don't think my mind could comprehend him being like spooky compared to some of these other ones. Blight with the dripping blight serum and stuff. And that speed is, is definitely jarring to me because he just looks like this abomination type creature. Um, Charlotte, honestly, the twins, I, I feel like they'd be D. I would be a little bit more weirded out by Victor popping down and stuff, but um i feel like there's a little bit scarier out here um i'm gonna move the nurse up a little bit and i'm gonna put uh trickster at the very bottom he just obviously it's not really supposed to look super scary so i don't really put him up there uh nemesis absolutely looks like a, a person that would absolutely just murder me so i'm gonna put him up in this tier uh, next up is Pinhead. I mean, if I saw Pinhead just walking around, I feel like is super weird and scary. I'm going to put him up in A tier. I think he's just below S tier. If I have space, I think he'd probably be the first one to move up in that A tier. But um, I feel like we're going to have some other people up there. The artist is like weird, but like I wouldn't feel like super scared of her at first. I'd just be like, is she okay? And then she would come after me and then I'd be scared. So I'll put her in C. I feel like it's pretty decent. Um, 
the ring. I mean, I, I honestly just feel like it's like a child or a young girl. I don't feel like I'd be super scared of her right away if I just saw her standing there. Um, but, you know, definitely she has those powers to absolutely destroy you. Uh, the dredge, I think, because it's just like this abomination would be super scary to see in real life and just popping out of like the darkness and if you could turn it dark like if you were just in the middle of the day and just turned it dark around you that would be pretty 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 scary uh wesker like at first he just looks like a normal dude but then he pulls out those like whip things and uh like his virus i would be way more scared then but if i just saw him normally i don't think i would put him super high on the list so i'm gonna put him in c i feel like that's decent enough i feel like we're definitely gonna have to move some people around um the night I feel like I'd move, move Hillbilly up a little bit. Um, yeah, and then I'll put the knight here and see. Just looks like a dude in armor, so like I'd be really weirded out, but I wouldn't. I don't think I'd be like super scared of him. Um, same thing with Skull Merchant. I don't really. I don't feel like she looks super scary. Uh, let's see how I'll move this around because I feel like the bottom is pretty full um we move spirit up a little bit move whisker up a little bit or maybe i'll move ghost face up a little bit okay i think that's decent singularity yeah that's just a straight up horror show going on right there i would be devastatingly scared of seeing singularity walking around um same thing with alien i mean the xenomorph is just so nasty in the speed and like the not really much of an offense against it because if you hit it, it has acid blood. Got to put it up there. Um, Killer Doll is a little bit of an interesting one with having Chucky here. Um, I maybe move Pyramid up to A and I'll put Chucky in the middle because it's like he's just a little doll. But if he had the knife, I'd be like, okay, that's a little weird. But I don't feel like I would have enough fear of him right away until they start. He started stabbing people. Uh, unknown. I think it's definitely weird looking and crazy like you can tell that there's definitely something wrong and uh it, it's just really bad uh vecna would also be really high up there i'll put him in s also i feel like i gotta move around some people um hmm who out of the top would i move down a little bit i don't know maybe blight just a little bit i don't know <laughs> this is, i'm running out of space and I, I have a feeling uh that's gonna be we're going to be running into areas. I don't know exactly where everybody goes. Because we got Dracula. And I think Dracula is general of just kind of looking at him. I'm not super like... I'm just like, oh, it's just an old white rich guy. He kind of looks like the mascot for Old Miss. But uh, <laughs> um, I think I'll put him at the bottom. And I think I could move some people around here. I think I'll put the nurse up a little bit because she is pretty jarring. I'd probably put up out of these killers if I saw them in the road. I guess I put the ring because it would just be like a child there. And then I can move somebody up to A tier from this slot, which I think I would put Bubba. Okay, yeah, this is what I think. Tell me what you guys think. I mean, it's completely subjective of your own fears and stuff, I guess. But I know that uh, people are going to have differing op opinions. But I want to hear it because I probably rated some people too low or some people too high. But, yeah, until next time, this has been Japan. Bye, guys.